What's up, squad? Ishi from Team SYS at your service again today. Did you know that there are certain aspects of this game that you can reroll? If you want those godly rolls but you don't have the time or the resources to reroll forever, I have a solution for you. I would like to caveat this by saying that I personally enjoy the RNG, so although I do use methods to auto farm, I don't personally use this method. But since it is a mechanic of the game currently, I'm hoping that it will help some of you busy people out there to save some time and effort to enjoy and progress in the game at a faster rate. Some may call this a feature and others may call it a bug, but I'm secretly hoping that they'll come out with future updates to remove this method and make RNG great again. So this is your chance if you want to take full advantage of it. As you already know, there are certain aspects of this game that are RNG rolls. Aside from the quest drops, we have the overmastery bonuses, the transmutation and transmarvel at knickknack shop, and of course the curio appraisal at Zabatha's appraisals. You can be spending hours or days farming for specific sigils or rolling for certain bonuses and never get the ones you want, but there is a way to re-roll some of these. The ones that can be re-rolled are the overmastery bonuses, transmutation, and transmarvel. Unfortunately for the curios, it seems like the content of that curio is already decided the moment you pick it up, and the appraisal is just the unveiling of the contents. So I'm sorry for those of you who are hoping to get a supplementary damage 5 plus sigil today. I'll have a video about the best ways to farm for curios coming to you soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're interested to learn about that. So, for those of you who want to roll those perfect 10s on your overmastery bonuses, or want that double character specific sigil, let me explain how it's done. First, go to town and save the game. You might want to save up enough to roll 5 or 10 sigils when doing this just because it takes a few seconds each time you want to reset. Alright, now go ahead and roll for your bonuses or sigils. The mechanic is the same for transmutation, so if you haven't unlocked transmarble, which you can unlock at proud, you can use this method for the transmutation. If you're unsatisfied with what you got, go to your menu and return to title and log back in. Now, if you try to reroll again, you'll just get the exact same rolls. So in order to reroll, you'll have to go complete a quest. Go ahead and do something in easy like a Quagadile or something. Once you're back in town, don't forget to save again just in case, and go back and roll. And there you go. Your roll should be completely different than before. Now for some players, this may take away from some of the fun of the game, so user discretion is advised. But if you're in endgame, you know that the best rolls for sigils are in the curios. So sorry to let you down, but I don't have a re-roll method for the curios as of now. Like I explained earlier, it seems like the minute you pick up the curios, the content of that curios has already been decided for you. So if you are one of those players who wants to min-max your character and have that perfect build, there is still some grinding that will be required. I will be going into more detail about the curios and what to expect there, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if anyone has figured out a way to reroll curios, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. The entire squad appreciates each and every one of you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps us grow and make content that you all enjoy watching. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next time. Squad out.